Margaret Robbie explains why her woman led Pirates of the Caribbean movie is dead. First off, I think in the last video I was all like, yo man, Amber Heard's gonna play Pirates of the Caribbean. It wasn't her, by the way. It was uh, Margaret Robbie. If you don't know who that is, the Suicide Squad lady, the, the hey, Mr. Jai. <laughs> so it's obviously, first off, before I even read this damn article, we all know it has nothing to do with her. Why is this movie flop, by the way? That woman is amazing. It is the good old Amber Turd that is the problem here, sir. We all know that her woman negativity is the reason why that movie is going to flop. First off, well, man, honestly, man, I mean, let's be real. Johnny Depp, bro. Johnny Depp, not having a Johnny Depp movie already automatically will kill the whole thing. It's Ghostbusters 2016 all over again, sir, where we just get a Ghostbuster movie and just re-hashtag it all women. And it's like, yo, that's whack. <laughs> it's the same thing. And then I forget, oh yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean is Disney, sir. It's Disney, it's just freaking women slapping everything all over again. Look, at this point, I know some people think, man, Jose, you a woman hater, bro. You hate women. Man, I don't, bro. I don't. I'm married to one. Shoot, if I can deal with her, man, I can deal with everybody. The thing is, it's not her fault. It's not Margaret Robbie's fault. So, it says, way back in June 2020, a female fronted pirate spinoff film was announced with Margaret Robbie, a aka the Suicide Squad lady, as the, as the lead but now it seems like the movie is, no pun intended, dead in the water. Yes, it is. Now, at my idea, I'm like, how would have it been? How would this movie go? And I'm like, I just assuming they will use the Hey Mr. J freaking attitude, but with Pirates of the Caribbean. Because what made Pirates of the Caribbean is Johnny Depp, let's be real. Johnny Depp's character is, you know, the dun 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 you know, he, he made his own style. He gave it life. So it's like, they probably try to choose her and do the Mr. J thing. <laughs> I could see her doing the little walk and all that stuff. But again, it, 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 wouldn't, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't have seemed genuine because it's like, they would probably be using the, the same Jack Sparrow style. I mean, is she gonna look exactly like Jack Sparrow with the bandana, a couple dreads, like down to the, at the point that it's just a, a female uh, Johnny Depp, uh, Halloween costume? I don't know, but yeah, yeah. You know, it was the time when we were like, our women movies to the top. Let's make them stand out days. Of course, this is failing now. Then they gotta drop the Pirates movie. The only way I can see this thing ever coming back with the Pirates is they gotta get Johnny Depp back. But they gave him such a nasty L. The dude is traumatized, sir. Can you imagine? You in your shop. You good with all your homies. It's a family. And out of nowhere, your crazy ass girl's like, he beat the shittos out of me. You know, I can't cuss. And, and you're just like, bro, I'm just doing movies. Let's cancel him. You cancel, sir. You ain't nothing. You nothing but a bad boy. We're gonna, we're gonna give you the worst of the worst. Believe all women, cause women never lie. <laughs> Woo! Wow, that's not the same at 2022. But, yeah, let's read what she says. She says, and by she, I, I, I'm, and obviously, I, I mean uh, Margaret Robbie. She says, we had an idea and we were developing it for a while, ages ago, she said, to have more of a female lead. Uh, you know, that was probably back then. Back then, you know, you know we, we didn't see that much women stuff. So it's like, eh, it'd be cool to have a, you know different times not today but different times so not totally female led but just a different kind of story which we thought we would have been really cool it probably was really cool back in like 2015 you know before the whole woke disaster stuff and you're like eh, let's do something new i mean that's how the female ghostbuster movie started don't forget they were like i can see why they thought it would be successful it's like okay let's make an all-female cast before now now it's different now it turns people off but back then, it'd be like, yeah, hey, we haven't done that before. And we need some comedians. Let's get some SNL women in there, you know? And now we're like, no, they're not funny. <laughs> and yeah, it just backfired. It's like, but I think, I think the all women thing can work 
you know, like like Charlie's Angels and stuff. It just it has to be new. I think the big problem with these shows that they're making all women stuff is that they don't make new stuff. They just get old shitos. <laughs> and I really try my best not to cuss, guys. You know, you just get something that already is made by men. Get it and say, we're going to do it too. Oh, it's Kev, that's whack. Make your own stuff. See, if they make their own women thing, that'd be sick. You know, that's why um, it's in the city, bro. Wait, I can't even say the word, huh? Uh, slip in the city. <laughs> I don't know. Dang, YouTube. Uh, it's like, okay, that, for example, you know, it, it was its own thing. That's why it was a banger, you know? It's like Seinfeld too. It was their own banger, you know? It, Bro, you gotta make your own thing. Stop taking stuff from other guys and then get mad that the guy version's better. Of course it's gonna be better. They made it. Another thing she said was, but I guess they don't want to do it. She added, presumably referring to Disney, which owns the rights to the Pirates franchise. The news comes as a bit of a surprise since Pirates producer Jerry Bruckemere confirmed that the Margaret Lett installment was indeed on the way earlier this year. I'm sure it was, but hey, I tell you right now, this is not doing so good right now. Disney is like, damn, we messing up so bad right now. Nobody likes our stuff. Our Disney whole palace is all rainbows and stuff. So all the little kids don't want to come. And the adults that we fell in love with the childhood, they can't even afford it because it's expensive. And let alone, you probably waste like three, four hours just to get in one ride that's going to take like four minutes, you know? Then you gotta buy that pass. The pass costs more money. Their Marvel division, their Disney Plus stuff, Star Wars, woke, female swap thing, everybody hates it. Same thing with Marvel, She-Hulk, all that stuff, everybody hates it. And it's like, bro, you guys better, yeah, man, you guys better start messing up Pixar 2 for all we know. Damn, y'all gotta like just chill for two seconds. Just go back to your old roots, sir. It's not working. I think I'll end this as now. I talk too much. So, yeah, what do y'all guys think, huh? Are you mad that the female Pirates of the Caribbean ain't, ain't happening? Because I'm glad it didn't because I already knew it was going to flop. It'd be a waste of money. Just like that girl. <laughs> That's DC, though. But, yeah, let me know what y'all think. If you think I'm wrong, let me know. Comment, bro. I ain't a hater. You guys have different opinions. I ain't going to trip. This is a, a good environment right here. We can all be equals and stuff. So let me know. Like and subscribe. Comment on my stuff. And that'll be all. Cheating my mind out.